I'm going to demonstrate rearranging artboards in Adobe Illustrator using the artboards panel. And here I am inside of Adobe Illustrator 2020. And I have six artboards here with six different patterns. I've been working on a recoloring project and I'm just looking at this design in different color palettes. I've got my artboards panel here and you can see whenever you select an artboard, it's highlighted here inside of the artboards panel. What I want to do is click on this button here to rearrange the artboards. So I have different options here of how I can order these. I'm going to click the left to right row here. And now I have the option to choose the spacing between these. I can change that to 100 and I want to have move artwork with artboard checked. That's very important. And then click OK. And we can see it just makes one long row of artboards. Now, if I go back, I can choose one of these first two options here. If I choose this first one, grid by row, I have the option to choose the number of columns that I want. So here I'm going to choose three columns and I can increase the spacing again, move artwork with artboard and then click OK. So this feature makes it really easy to rearrange artboards without having to go into artboard editing mode. Now, one thing you should be aware of, we were just looking here at the move artwork with artboard option. There's another option you need to know about, and that is in the preferences. And I'm going to use my shortcut command or control K to open up preferences. And then if I go to the second item here, selection and anchor display, you can see there's a checkbox here for moved locked and hidden artwork with artboard. This is turned off by default. So if you have locked artwork that you want to move with your artboard, you want to have this turned on. And then I'll just click OK and I've changed my preferences. All right. Another thing that you can do in the artboards panel, if you're working on a project like this and you decide you need some more artboards, well, I'm going to go down here to the last artboard, artboard six. That's this design right here. And I'm going to duplicate this artboard and the design at the same time just by going over here to the options menu and clicking on duplicate artboards. And what that does is it adds artboard six copy down at the bottom of the list. And then here is that copy. I'm going to do this a couple more times just to repeat that artboard. And then I can go back to the rearrange artboards button choose three columns. In this case, I'm going to change the spacing down to 100 and then click OK. And now I've duplicated the artwork that I need to continue this recoloring project and made a nice organized order of my artboards. Now, what if your artboards are irregular in size like this? I'll go back, click the rearrange button, and I'm going to change this to three columns and leave the spacing at 200 pixels and of course move the artwork with the artboard and click OK. Now we can see Illustrator arranges these artboards using the upper left corner of each artboard as its orientation point for rearranging these. Now what if you want to reorder as you're rearranging your artboards? So for example, you want this blue artboard and yellow artboard to switch places in the order. Well, the yellow artboard, when I select it, we can see is artboard number three. And I have these buttons right here that allow me to move this artboard up and down in the order. So if I just click on the up button, I'm swapping out the position, the order of artboards two and three. And now when I go to rearrange, leaving all the settings exactly the same, click OK, and we'll see those two artboards swap positions. Now these are all default names that Illustrator just gives the artboards as you create them, but you can double click on any of these to change the names. And you can also click on this icon here to get the artboard options where you can also change the names. So I hope you enjoyed that quick Illustrator artboards tip.